So checking out the TapTez wireless charging pad for the Model 3. This is a Qi compatible charging pad, so it should work for any iPhone, Samsung devices. Uh, this is a Google Pixel 3. And while the Pixel 3 does charge from it, it is limited to five watts, which is a Google limitation for non-certified devices. The way you install this is pretty easy. You open this up, slide this over, and normally in this place, you have the two charging cables that go in the dock, but you just pull them out along with the stock pad and you replace it with this tap test pad. Those charging cables would normally run up this channel and you just pull them out. The tap test cables just drop straight in those holes, almost like it was made to go there. And then you just put this back on and you're good to go. I wish this fit in here a little bit tighter and you could maybe shim this up in the back or underneath here to make it a little tighter, but you know, it's not a big deal really. So open it up and you just plug it in down here. Now, if you're not using Tesla cam USB audio, you can plug both of these cables into your two outlets down here. But I have quite a few things going on down here. I have a USB hub on the right side with three ports. One still open, one for Tesla cam, one for USB audio. And then on the left side, I have a big battery bank with three charging ports. So I connect both sides of the dock here to my battery bank. And that lets you get full power out of the battery bank. And also you can charge when the car's off. So a little extra feature there. Right now I have a power meter connected and we're showing 0.9 amps coming from the battery pack up here to the right side of the dock. So that's about what it should be for this phone. If I take the phone off, we drop down to 0 0.02 amps. So, you know, very low which is good. You don't want anything silly going on that's going to cause this pad to heat up, and do anything stupid. So yeah, I mean, that all looks good, looks normal. I've had the phone charging for a while and the pad isn't even warm. You can't even feel any different between the two sides. So seems to be working well. I really like the little indicator light that comes on. So if your phone doesn't give you a, a good display of the charging status, it has its own. So overall, recommended. I'll post links in the description for the charging pad, the USB battery pack, and the USB hub if you're interested in any of those. But that's about it. So like and subscribe if you want to check out more of our videos and leave your video request in the comments.